Hey, welcome Jouni Koistinen. We are so happy to have you here. Really exciting. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah, Jouni is an, a marketing entrepreneur and you have founded at least two companies, or is it three now, the third, third ongoing. And what is very interesting for many of our listeners now is that you have made an exit. Was it so that you had even made it twice? Yeah, actually I have, because I have been in this business, let, let's say marketing agency business, over 30 years. Oh, At right. first 10 years, after first 10 years, I actually made my first exit. Okay. Because we had a company with three guys, and uh, we started in university and we had a, our own company as an agency. And when the time came as 10 years, um, then it's my time to go away from that. And that was my first exit. And that, actually that was the start of a new company with my wife. And we started over 20 years, a new one, okay. a new agency. And it was founded as Apple in Garage. Okay, okay. <laughs> and so and, and grow that, one, that one grew to 15 persons. Yeah. So, yeah. And then we started to grow, and that's actually part of my story that uh, I have always been in marketing agency field 30, yeah. over 30 years. But then 20 years ago, we started to do digital marketing, so internet game. Yeah. And that was a really good foundation for us to take an, another step to the digital marketing era and then came marketing automation of course 10 years yeah. ago and and in that time when we founded our ideal minds called that agency so so it was full uh, all in one agency so we did everything for people newspapers content okay. copywriting design yeah. but when we started let's say last 10 years we were focusing only digital marketing marketing automation yeah so let's come thing. let's go back to that Joni. but but i remember that you told me that your first exit was unfriendly maybe you could tell a little bit about 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 that 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 how to avoid an unfriendly exit it was a surprise for you wasn't it yeah. it was because the main plan was actually make it a different way so so i uh, take another partners so i pay for them and it's my own firm but it went around <laughs> so i was alone from that deal and so yeah, you I had the third of the company and you were planning to buy out the other ones yeah, yeah. And, and but it went another way around and so that's the reason i, I started a new uh, company after a few months yeah. so, so, so the end, other ones didn't want to buy them uh, buy uh, sell their shares to you yeah. and you yeah. have yeah okay yeah, and and uh, uh, but in the end after one year they 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 are were ready to buy my shares so in the end it was a good uh, deal but but um, the but it crashed my let's say my career and my work oh boy for two months uh, what what is the learning from that that is is it how, what should you have done differently in order to avoid that unpleasant thing for a year you had the crisis there so but it, well the basic learning was that we didn't have the same picture what is the future okay what is so the I future guess my future was to go ahead with a uh, business more like digital yeah. era and already that time and and they had perhaps more safe strategy okay. uh, so that how they maintain the the market where we were at that day and and i was like more ready to go to the new markets and, yes. and new openings you and now Yoni, i have this motto that the only safe thing uh, is uh, uh, is uh, change and go to the new thing that to be on the same spot is not safe people are think that this is my convenience area but but hey it's not safe <laughs> they yeah. you think it's safe but it's not safe yeah that was so the um so you had the strategy there also and in a way you didn't share the strategy the, the picture or the strategy yeah, yeah. and now now uh, how about this, this successful uh, second ex exit that you did 
uh, what was the meaning of having a clear strategy in, in that, that what did the, the buyer, how did they, so to say? Uh, yeah, uh, actually it was a totally different situation then. So because we had a really focused strategy, we were in, in digital marketing, we were in marketing automation business. So that was really focused strategy. And, and that was a need for this uh, uh, company who uh, acquired us because they didn't have this knowledge, they didn't have this MarTech uh, competence uh, in their teams. Yeah. So, so we really bring the new era for, for that company. Yeah. How was your strategy? Did you have it in writing? Because you didn't use the one page of model, then I understand. No. No, did uh, you have it in writing or was it between your ears? Uh, let's say we have we are two. So it was uh, in our sauna whole strategy when we were talking about the business. Oh. So it was a sauna strategy. Sauna strategy. <laughs> one page. That, that's really good. And now when you are doing your third business, uh, and, and, and now you are using the Stratego one page or two toolkit. So, uh, and, and, and you are in the middle still there working with it. Uh, so what, and you have been working with the purpose now. So what did you learn from that? It was really a good foundation for me to start working again with the mission and vision together and, and found that that's purpose because, you know, background is like, 360 degree agency world. Yeah. So how I really could focus myself to something, you know, so so focused uh, idea of purpose where I'm like to go with a new business. So that's really actually really hard to do. Uh, and because I have that background, because I start thinking, oh, this is one option, this is another. So. Too many, too many ideas, too many ideas, yeah, to crystallize the ideas and to focus, yeah. Yeah, and, and that's what I love in this one page because you really push people to, to find your purpose. And with that, you understand your why and, and you understand what. I guess the how is actually the easier, easier part of this process. Yeah, yeah, when you have the, the purpose of your business and yeah. the purpose how you help your customers not only to earn money for yourself. Yeah. It, it's, it isn't easy. It isn't easy to write it, you know, shortly. You know, I'm really struggling on it still because, um, as I said, with that process, uh, like comes a second day and I guess I have a new idea and then I just have to make the combination of, of that. What I'm thinking here, is it still the focus? Is this uh, like a part of my f future offering or is it just an idea, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, so really one pager is something you start thinking how you put this all so that in few sentences you actually say your business model, your target group, and how you serve them. What is the problem you, you solve? Yeah. And it's interesting now when you are starting with your wife again, the third yeah. time, to, so you are two persons only. And, and you, very, I mean, it would be very easy to imagine that if you are two, you don't need to write anything because you have it in your head and you just go with the flow. But here is now this man, Yoni, he's saying that it's really, uh, really a, a, a big benefit to start to write it down. So comment that still. <laughs> uh, I, I really think that if you don't do that, you are lost in the jungle because there are so many opportunities, particularly in this area where I'm doing my business, digital marketing. So you, you really got to the jungle and you are lost if you don't have that writing down that where you like to go, why, what you are doing, because otherwise uh, you find yourself in a strange country. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In the middle of the jungle. In the middle and, of the jungle. Uh, that's I, love the, I love the jungle metaphor. Uh, we have been using the spaghetti metaphor that you have spa <laughs> spaghetti thoughts between your ears. And in order to get the head to have a one, two, three, <laughs> what I should do. So that's the, that's the kind of benefit of the, of the, of the one pager. And I feel that one pager is something where you save your energy to your clients. When you are done with that, uh, I hope it will be 
you. also myself. Hey. But when you're done with that, you that save your energy to your clients. Hey, that was a new idea that you save your energy to your client and not not to 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 uh, all kind of stuff because most yeah. of us, in my experience, what I heard, everybody has so many ideas and and uh, no time to implement them really so we are all the time in the rat race yeah running because before strategy it's only hassle what you hassle. it's a sound and hassle you know you go around different options and opportunities and you don't focus enough once you have that one page done you really save your energy you are not in the jungle you know where you are going you can start calculating, you can do, start doing your roadmap. Yeah. And uh, that's really saving energy, in my opinion. Yeah, and the one page has the purpose, the focus areas, and the big goals. Yeah. So, so, so that is really the point. Hey, yeah. uh, let's uh, talk a little bit also about what is I'm, uh, very interesting, because many marketing agencies, they also say that they, you know, they do this marketing stuff, brand, and other things like that, but then they say that they also do strategy. What is your uh, experience of that? Uh, I feel that main, of, main part of that talk is, is so that they are really lost because they have a different strategy. What they actually like to sell or build is brand. So they li like to do branding. Okay, I have done this work over 30 years. I can say that branding is important. Of course yes. it is. Yes. But it's not only the strategy element. Uh, I mean that it's not only strategy you can have in your business. Brand is something you communicate to the market, how, yeah. how you are different and, and what you are doing and you, it's not about colors, it's not about uh, your tone of voice, but when it comes from the strategy, how you engage with your market, and that's brand, engaging with your market, uh, yeah. then it's a big, big, uh, um, powerful thing to have. But first, strategy, and I think in, in, in big agencies, in my opinion, they don't start from this point, they don't start from strategy, they start from brand. And, and it makes it really different, differently the, the, the thing, world yeah. what they are thinking. Yeah, so it's doing. really a, 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 the two different uh, opinions is that is the strategy first and, and brand is part of the strategy or is the brand first and strategy is part of the brand? First choice for me now. <laughs> Perhaps in early days I was also doing more brand work first yeah. and then strategy. But once again, you lose your energy. Uh, if you start doing brand first, because you don't know your, your target group, you are not knowing your, your, your uh, goals, you don't know where you are going to, how you serve your clients. So, yeah. so those strategy choices, what you have to do, you have to do before brand. That was really valuable comment now for us, uh, Yoni. Thank you so much for that. That uh, and, and I, I love the, the short version you are able to to, to articulate. So maybe uh, if if I could still make a summary question. So if what is the number one benefit only of having a strategy on one page? What would you answer? I would say that it's it's a foundation uh, work because uh, when you have a foundation, you can build your buyer's journey. You can build your marketing. You can build your person as you can build everything above that but if you don't have foundation we all know what happens yeah. and it, there are so many leaks uh, what happens and and you you one day you feel that oh we are doing so good yeah but actually it's a leak uh, and and you lose something because you don't have that foundation and uh, that's really my learning through this process yeah. that, that you but, 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 focus on foundation Thank you for that. Uh, but let's not be only idealistic and see that everything is fine. So what are the challenges here in this work? So what would you say? Uh, as I said, to focus and really find the purpose and, and the reason why you are in the market. Uh, I guess quite many are in the market and guessing what their clients need and, and really 
big amount of companies is doing this concept like that. They test all the time. They don't know where they are going. And, uh, and uh, that's a hard way. And, and uh, perhaps the learning here is that you got to think strategy top of everything because it's so easy to start doing tactical things or operational yeah. management. Uh, it's so easy. You, you cover your day easily with that. But to make those strategy choices and, and really build the foundation first, it's a little bit harder in the beginning, but in the end, it's faster. Yeah. And you have the, always the short, short-term pressure that I have the meeting tomorrow, I have to pre prepare it, the customer meeting, I have to do this, I have to make the, 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 the offer, not a big bid to the customers, and there's a deadline, and I don't have time to think, so it's all the time a fight between short-term and a little bit longer-term. So, so uh, I, I, one, one big chief told me a very good sense that it's a question of a delicate balance. Yeah, then, really it is. And it, I, I feel it. that uh, it's, it's about this uh, uh, foundation thing that once you have that foundation, you really can focus on the next level, which is in my business, it's, it's buyer's journey. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and third level is actually traffic sources. So how you really make yourself known yeah. or people can find your offering or... or understand what you are serving but if you don't have that foundation you are doing this month uh, advertising campaign here and next month social media there and and mm. you don't yeah. have any roadmap for you you, do, yeah. you don't know where you are going and and you meet people of course you get perhaps attention yeah. uh, and and uh, and uh, that type of uh, traffic but you don't make any deals no, and hey. Right. Yeah, it's so true. It's so true, Yoni. Uh, let's uh, also talk about the implementation. Now, when you have the the, the one page and you have the map, so so then you uh, you have the road uh, road map. So so what is challenging now in the implementation? <laughs> yeah, because we are two people, so we 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 actually can we don't have so big challenges if we agree if we have this sauna deal. <laughs> <laughs> we can yeah. make that. So it's really easy to implement. But I guess um, when I think over these 30 years I have done business, I have met a lot of different companies. Yeah. I see uh, the mistakes, what they have done or what I have done. Uh, this is not so 100% business <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Uh, there's also mistakes, a lot of mistakes. And uh, what I would say in this implementation now, I can avoid a lot of mistakes. Okay. Uh, do you have some kind of example in your mind? What, what is some mistake that you remember that you learned? <laughs> uh, it is uh, that you don't spend enough time to understand your target group. Okay. So, so the real, real questions, what people have, the problems they have, and what, what, how you solve them and how you give the value, how you put value to the table. And um, I guess that's the real, real big mistake what happens all, all time in, in different companies because they don't spend enough time understanding yeah. their target groups. Okay, we, we know that strategy first, it, inside that there, there's a target group, your, your yeah. bio, whatever you call it. But, but really, really take that so that you make the buyer's journey, you, may, you understand your customer life cycle stages, you understand what you are doing and, and what is your goal. I guess that's really hard. Yeah, that's really hard. And, and I mean, people always talk about the customer needs, but uh, we have now uh, invented one thing. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know where, where we got it, but, but, you know, instead of needs to think on the customer's situation, it, it's part of the life cycle, of course, the life journey, but the situations, it's kind of higher level uh, thing to, and the needs are part of that situation. And, and I noticed that, so I have been systematically now collecting situations when my customers need, uh, need help. Yeah. And then uh, I get the list and you know it's not more than 20. <laughs> really? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, if you go on that level, and, and then you know, the, the hook on the, on the online business, for instance, is only to say that, are you in this situation? Hey, read this because here is the help. Yeah, but that's, a, that's what it's called in, 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 a, in a, I have a term for that. It's jobs to be done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is. It's so that you think that your client is going to buy from you, and this is the problem they have. Yeah. Mistake. That's not the problem. That's not the situation where they are. They are not going to buy from you because they don't have that situation. So jobs to be done is to understand where they are, what is the actual meaning of of actual purpose of them to buy. What is the yeah. Pain what they have in their ass, which why they are going to buy something yeah, exactly. because they have a need to buy. That's for then, sure. Then I then I also uh, realized that now we've been working with this and I, I got the list of twenty situations which I take from the history when the customer bought from me. What the, what situation did they have? And then I collected like that. And then we also realized that we we uh, categorized these situations in three groups. So that's a kind of super situation or mega situation above the situations and that helped us really much to, to focus our thinking on on which uh, customers and then when, when you meet the customers and you have this situation map in your head with the three higher level situations and the 20 sub situations divided in three groups then you have to just listen that what which situation is he now talking about okay. Yeah, uh, then, Marcus, are you open to uh, to to open that list to us? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yes. Maybe. Not not now, but I guess. I yes, sure. I, I'm I'm really because open. That's okay. really the key. I I found that as a key to understand. Yeah. Because when after this you start losing money, if you have a wrong. But let's say let's say Yoni, for instance, your backstory now. Yes. So I Im immediately recognize the, there is the exit dream. That's one situation that the company wants to have an exit. Sometimes you did have that dream in uh, that situation where on because you sold it. The first one was maybe a, 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 a growth dream that you wanted to buy out your, your competitors and mm -hmm. grow because you disagreed about the, the, the future. The second was then that you wanted to, to sell your and, and, and get a good valuation and maybe do something, something else then after that. So, so that this desire for exit, for instance, is one, one dream. Yeah. And, and then the second dream is this, that I'm so, one situation is so that I'm so tired now, I can't be in every conference room and, and, and try to steer this growing company because we have growth pains. And now people start to go in all directions. I have to get them to understand and we have to agree on the, on the, on the direction. That's another situation. Okay, good. Because um, for us, it was actually uh, that as a small company still uh, we didn't have uh, enough power to scale yeah and that was the motor of the the exit because very good uh, yeah, we that with this uh, exit we have a platform where to scale in, yeah. in the okay. business what we loved yeah and oh, Yoni, that was the situation yeah yeah I, I need to improve scalability yeah yeah, and, wait, uh, and that was the main reason for the exit because yeah. okay. uh, it, it was a hundred percent that, and yeah. uh, I really know this now <laughs> when you say. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, and I'm so interested. So I ask everybody here when I we interview them that what was the situation when you started to think on the strategy? That why did you do it? Why did yeah. you need a strategy? What was what was behind it? And, yeah. and then when you have the higher level situation, then you get many needs in that situation because i think that if you only uh, kind of search for needs so so then you are so in a fragmentation there are so many needs thousands of needs but then you yeah. go to higher up it was like this american general who who fought the schwarzkopf was his name the kuwait war and he said that if you're down on the earth and you can make some good decisions but when you go up high then you see what, what is the best thing to do. <laughs> so this situation is, is the same thing that... Yeah, that, really uh, good, good thinking. Yeah. Uh, 
And yeah. I love that. And, and uh, thank you for sharing that idea. Yeah. Yeah. But still, when I look my own exit and my own story, uh, the, what I'm really happy is that what I always try to do, I like to be, I try to be also one step ahead the market. And it means that my brother, a uh, little bit older brother, always says to me, oh no, once again, new idea, where you are going? <laughs> Yeah, that, that is very, that's very true. You, uh, most, most people that I met, uh, CEOs for companies, they always have the feeling that we are a step behind in spite of us doing, working like hell in the rat race. Yeah. So, and, and, you know, if you have to, uh, and the competitors, if they are a little bit ahead of you, so if you kind of try to co come to there, meanwhile, they have gone further. So to catch the competitor to be in par, you have to make two jumps. You have to take the first jump and, and because they are proceeding, you have to make the second. If you want to be ahead of them, you have to make three jumps. Yeah. So, so that's that's really tough thing. So I think your strategy of always being uh, ahead of the competition, I, I personally love that. I think that's the strategy I want to do. I, I have in all my career, I have always taken the new solutions as first. And there is a downside. You have to put yeah. a lot of studying and trying that which which parts are really the. But I take that downside because I also feel it's security. It's more yeah. secure to be ahead than to be after. Yeah, correct. And, uh, and, and when I look my, my 30 years, yeah. uh, that's the, really the, the story behind everything because I try to understand what is the next uh, uh, market or next uh, Martech or next yeah. uh, uh, content idea or next uh, new channel which is yeah. going to... And I, I have loved our cooperation because you have gave me very valuable ideas just because you are in the forefront there. So, mm. Tony, uh, last question. What is your advice concerning strategy now the, <clears throat> to, the, to the guys who are listening this? I really can say from my heart that focus on foundation. Uh, it's really, really key to everything because that's the way you save energy and, and you also save money because then you can focus because you need money to, to get a good business. That's for sure. Yeah, don't waste money. Yeah, don't waste money. That would be... Good message. Man, that's a good message. Hey, Yoni, i just love to talk with you. We could go on for three hours, and that is what we are doing after, <laughs> this, after this meeting. We are continuing soon to discuss, but thank you so much. I think, I think you are a great entrepreneur. Yeah. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.